and here we go. Uh, we do need to make some hay. Now this is not a lot of grassland, but it should be enough to, uh, at least over time, get us enough uh, grass for constructing a lean-to. I really should have picked up more when I was outside of Boston. So that's a tip for you guys. Uh, pick up more grass before you... Or make some hay before you teleport out into the wilderness. Then again, my lean to is just there, so I could always port back. Let's just see how much grass I can get while I'm here. I don't think I'll be able to get enough for two pieces of hay. Or two bundles of hay, rather. Uh, maybe I could, if I'm lucky. Here's the fifth one, which will allow me to... Uh, let's see, processing materials, hay. I can create one hay here. Now to build a lean-to, I do need two pieces of hay, or two bundles of hay. So let's just try to get as much as we can. And there we go. I should eat one of these blackberries. Always keep an eye on your black bile while you're studying things. If you run out and KO, that's never a good thing. Um, Let's have a quick look around. Um, just want to extend the map this way and see what I can see on this map. Mm -hmm. Always a good idea to have a... At least, you know, if you're rushing to set up, have a quick look around the area. Maybe you'll see something that's really good. Uh, some rabbits there. Rabbits do spawn in forests, which is very useful because rabbits are a great way... I mean, if you keep drying rabbit skins, you can get quite a bit of money because they sell for four silver each. So over time it makes quite a lot. Uh, okay, I don't really see anything worthwhile this way. There is clay there, so that might save some time, but clay isn't worth claiming or anything like that. So as you can see, if you live in a forest, grass or autumn grass is a bit harder to come across. Now, my lean-to should be somewhere over here. Oh, I should be able to get Colonial Tradesmanship. Let's buy that. Yes, uh, and let me just see if I can now build lean-tos. No, I can't. I think I need settling for that. Um, settling, what is settling under? Do I need... Lore of the Lumberwoods? Uh, gives you the ability to chop down trees. I don't think I need that. It's not nuts and seeds, is it? Uh, literacy? Um, essential? No. What is it? Hmm. I'm not exactly sure what would allow me to get settling. Um, well, nuts and seeds should be easy to get. Uh, if I can find some things here. Okay, so I can't build lean tos right now. I think I better check the wiki. Uh, let me just open up my browser here and try to find what I need to get settling. Mm, now, my lean-to was somewhere around here. If I recall correctly. Oh, there's a stray chestnut. Let's get that first. Mm -hmm. Excuse if there's any lag here. I'm just opening up my browser. Uh, okay, stray chestnut. Yeah, it's just loading up some pages. Let's pick this up. Maybe this will help me get nuts and seeds. It should. It is a nut and seed. Okay, it does. One more of these and I can get that. So, even if you don't know what exactly all these things do, it's always good to learn these skills because they're, they're permanent improvements to your character. And they sometimes do unlock other things, so always good to go for those. Now, here's another stray chestnut. Let's, uh, as you can see, getting around these trees can be a pain. Okay, here's another stray chestnut, and this should get me nuts and seeds, no problem. There we go. That's on the way. We'll wait for that to finish. Now, um, let me check the Salem wiki here. Uh, Salem wiki. <laughs> Now it's loading up, loading up. Just hang on a minute. Let me find a lean-to. 
and a lean to requires hiking. That's strange. And hiking requires exploration, hill climbing, and swimming. Now, can I get those? Um, I can't get those right now. Uh, what unlocks these three things? Uh, exploration needs flowers and berries? Wait, no, that's skills. Hiking... Wait, am, am I reading this wrong? Oh, I need Lore of the Lumberwoods. Uh, okay. Lore of the Lumberwoods, it is then. So that means after this I need to raise these by quite a bit. Maybe I can find certain... Basically, I need a lot more inspirationals. So, Lord of the Lumberwoods is next up. Meanwhile, I uh, just have to collect as much as I can. As many stray chestnuts as possible. And hopefully I'll come across some singing old logs. Let's try organize our inventory a bit here. Uh -huh, this can go here. I like to put food on the bottom, inspirationals in the middle. And just general stuff at the top. Uh, let's see, this can go down there. Grass, we're keeping up there. Okay. Mm, what was I looking for? Get a couple more waxing toadstools. Because we'll be studying quite a bit. Meanwhile, we can hang around here. Look, there's more autumn grass, so maybe we'll get enough autumn grass to make enough hay right here. So as you can see, Salem is not a fast-paced game. It does take some time, but, uh, like, organizing some proper content can take a lot longer. So this Let's Play hopefully will show you what gameplay is, like raw gameplay footage, how long things take, how fast things can be done, or how slow things are done. And plus it gives me some content for you guys to watch, uh, because we're all waiting for open beta. Now, uh... Still not enough grass. Let's collect more stray chestnuts. So basically this early part of the game is the most grindy because you're really trying to unlock the ability to just craft and build basic things. So you know, this is the most limited part of the game. Even if spamming stray chestnuts is not the most efficient way to level your skills, it can be the easiest. Squeeze by there. Mm, there's more stuff over here. There's one more. Okay. As you can see, there's plenty of stray chestnuts, so even if you're just spamming them, it still can be quite worthwhile. Oh, my inventory is actually full. Uh, well, we've almost got this. To buy nuts and seeds. There we go, let's buy that. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, Law of the Lumberwoods. Uh, we need this because this is basically the next step into uh, leveling up. So let's... Uh, we got to raise these things by quite a bit. These three things to 800, 600, 600. So the easiest is to spam straight chestnuts. Let's try study two. Will it hit the max on... Ah, perfect. So now we just need to raise these proficiencies a little bit. Meanwhile, we can just uh, go ahead and collect more straight chestnuts. Eat a bit more food. As you can see, these waxing toadstools are brilliant for replenishing your black bile. 3.5 on each. Perfect. Now let's uh, grab some more of these stray chestnuts, because I think the stray chestnuts, they do increase all three. So as you can see, I, I'm not sure if this is a specific design, game design decision, but these stray chestnuts, like worst case scenario, you can spam them to get Lore of the Lumberwoods, which is a good thing to be able to do. Now my inventory is full once again, uh, so there's really not much you can do at this point. Uh, usually you would spend a lot of time, like all this walking time would be in a certain direction to try or like just exploring the area to try and find the perfect spot to set up. But this bit of lime here makes this right here a great spot to build. And there also seems to be, as you can see, over here, a nice 
clear-ish area to build. Um, I could move these logs, but picking them up could spawn uh, timber rattlers, which would be bad. But this is uh, a nice spot to just start up. And I think I'll build my lean-to wherever it's flat, really, because... Uh, somewhere here might be flat enough. If I look around... I basically just need my lean to somewhere near this line, so when I claim it, uh, I can place a claim here and cover my, my lean to. I might have to terraform slightly. This looks... that looks almost... oh, that would, that would be perfect. I think I can build a lean to right there, and then I can place a claim stone right here. Now the only problem with building in these forests is it tends to be quite cliffy like this. So if you can imagine trying to build a wall, um, there's no actual real way to build around this cliff. So like, if you want to wall off this line, it's not really doable. You actually do have to kind of try and terraform these cliffs away and flatten the land and see what you can do, but it's not really possible. Luckily, people don't usually come to your land to steal lime, because uh, if they're stealing your stuff, they're pretty high level, and you, they basically don't need lime anymore. They found their own lime to build near. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's not really any other lime in this area, so there's probably not much competition. I don't really see any signs of life either, as in, like... Uh, you know, typically if people have been by, you would see certain things like, um, you know, crafting, uh, well, whittler's benches and or just basically lean-tos left behind from people exploring, stuff like that. But I don't see any of those. Meanwhile, let's, while waiting for our skills to raise up, let's go ahead and check the grass again. Let's see if we can find a bit more autumn grass. We need two more, and then we can we'll have enough hay to build a lean to. Grass should respawn relatively quickly, but well, not instantaneously, but still relatively quickly. Oh, another reason why you want to be near a river is because let's say well, once you have swimming, a bear or a snake starts chasing you. You can always run into the deep water and... Oh, there we go. Let's uh, raise one of these. Start studying two more. That's new as well. Um, start raising that some more. And yeah, basically you can run across deep water to escape any kind of animal that's trying to chase you, like bears or snakes. Or maybe you took on a cricket and you underestimated its ability. So you can always just run across the deep water and escape, which is always good. Oh, that's flint. So right here is the... Oh, the, the, the grindy bit of the game. I might have to cut this out, because this is taking quite long. Or maybe you guys want to leave it in. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Hmm... I wonder where... I could just port back to uh, Boston if I find my lean-to, which I think was around here. I have enough food to keep me going. Uh, let's see, I think it was over here? Was it over here? I think it was. Um, I remember I was near this river. Near the stone here. It's, uh, oh, was it was it north of here? This is why you need to remember where you were. I think I didn't walk too far because I remember I saw the grass and water in the south east. Pardon. Ah, there it is. This is my lean-to. There we go. Now the danger of porting back to Boston is that. Someone can come along and destroy this lean-to. And basically I won't be able to port back here. And that would be terrible. Ooh, smooth stone. Perfect. Um, that would be terrible. So if you do log off, 
uh, while you're out here. Before you have a claim stone, no one can destroy your claim stone, but if you do log off, um, try to make sure you're at least in this area. So if someone destroys your lean-to, uh, it's no big deal. You can just build a new one. Let's grab that stone. Stone's always good for early leveling. Uh, and we can port back to Boston to try and get that grass. Let's, uh, plus, it'll give you something new to look at. So let's walk over here. And... Uh, adventure... Travel back to Boston. There we go. Uh, we'll just head west again, because that's always the best direction to head. 